One of the most difficult records to work with in NetSuite is the inventory detail record. This can be from a scripting perspective or importing it even. In this video, I will show you an example where a company is importing a bunch of cell phones, for example, or serialized items like solar panels or from overseas. Usually, those suppliers will supply you with a bunch of serial numbers with a C in a CSV file. You then have the ability to say, okay, I'm going to receive these thousand serial numbers and then by the time it arrives at the warehouse it stays in its palette but we know in that palette we have a thousand serial numbers that users don't need to go and individually scan yes you can later still do that but it makes it much easier to at least receive it into the warehouse and then have the ability to later unpack it and scan it one by one so now let's look at NetSuite in this example I'm showing you a purchase order and here I for example have 50 items per line for two lines and on each line I imported a um, a bunch of serial numbers and this can be a lot of serial numbers in my example I just have 50 just to show you what NetSuite can do with a bunch of serial numbers okay so let's look at my purchase order. here I have a purchase order that's empty and we can see on this on the inventory detail at the bottom when I expand that you will see that I can now enter my serial numbers in here imagine doing this one by one by one it's gonna take ages so in this case we can actually go ahead and import this here I have my CSV file the first First one in over there have my internal ID. The internal ID is the ID of the actual purchase order. The way you can get this is by going right to the top. In your search bar, you'll notice that there, right at the top, there's an ID over there. That's the internal ID of the actual purchase order. You can copy that. Let's put that in my actual file. So I'm gonna put that there. That's my internal ID. Set that as my internal ID for all the lines. The next one, let's have a look at that. That's my item internal ID. That's the internal ID of the actual item now the way you get the internal id of the item open this in a new tab and exact same in the url right at the top there's an id you copy that id and that's your internal id of your actual um, item a different way to do this is obviously by exposing the internal ids and getting the internal ids from the list the next one is our actual location that's the location name that you have in netsuite in mine i just have it as main location then the next thing is the quantity what is the quantity at the line level let's see if I move that away, there's my quantity. So that's the quantity at the line level. Then the next one is inventory detail line quantity. And remember, this is always going to be one when you're using an actual serial, a serialized item. Because serialized items only have a quantity of one serial number per item. Remember, in the case of a lot number, if we manufactured pulls, if we produce a thousand pulls, right? Um, that would be a lot number. So in that case, that inventory detail detail number would change to 1000 and then our serial serial lot number would be that batch number that we so in this case a serialized item will always have one then next is our actual serialized item and then the next one this is the most important one because this is where most frustration is coming from so it's the inventory detail group identifier so let me explain this quickly if I have one item over here right then I want to give it for example a, a identifier to say this is one one inventory detail so I have 50 items and for this 50 items this is a group that I'm going to be importing if I have a second item right at the bottom I'm importing a second group so that's why I want to give it another identifier so if I have thousand at the top then for for that thousand I'm gonna have one identifier if I have another thousand at the two for my second item I have another identifier let's see how that looks in the form so remember I have two different items over here and that you can do but that's by the internal ID that I have here for my item. So we can see we add eight and then the second item is nine. And we can see there's a bunch of serial numbers for that. And here's the second bunch of serial numbers for the second batch. Remember, you can make this identifier anything. In my case, I just made it one and two. And that's for NetSuite to know that this belongs to one line. Okay. The last one is not that really important. It's just the line ID and line ID refers to, let's go back, line one, line two. Um, It's not really important in your map. Okay. Now let's Let's go ahead and actually import something so when you want to you first create your purchase order after your purchase order is created now we do an actual import against that purchase order so now go to setup in my case it's import import export and I already have a saved import for this so you're gonna start on this screen you're going to select transactions the second one you're going to select purchase order because you have a, a CSV file already and you're going to select your CSV file now in my case it's that one over there 
okay so i'm going to select that and there's my file attached i go next okay okay next don't need to worry about the advanced information here's the important part so the first part we want to, we have over there we want to find our purchase order internal id and map that to our internal id that we 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 have then our location remember we have our location name and we're matching that to the location of the purchase order the next one is our actual item where do we find our items you can close that and there's your purchase order ID. so you find your item you map your item you take your internal id remember when you map it if it's if it's not a word you need to specify that it's an internal id so you change this choose reference type from from names to internal okay perfect so we take our quantity we map that to our quantity that we have in our file the next one is the inventory detail quantity remember it's that one so you're going to take your inventory detail line quantity and have it there as well the next one is our inventory receipt number now where do we get that that's over here we expand this one now purchase order items inventory detail what we map here we map our quantity and our receipt inventory number and then here's our surrogate sub record id remember that's that group identifier that we created so very important to map this and then here you have your receipt inventory number that's your serial number and then your quantity then just to remember if you're doing this from a sales order perspective you're just gonna instead of using the actual receipt inventory number over here you're just gonna replace that with the um the issue inventory number now we map now we can go next okay now you can go ahead and save and run this gives you the ability in the future when you have another purchase order that you want to map this to all you're going to do is have your template ready change the internal ids and then you import it so you won't have to go through that mapping exercise again okay now go and click on save and run so when you're on this page the next thing you want to do is go ahead drop status click on that and that you will see right at the top you will see that i successfully imported one of one rep now if we scroll down you'll see that my inventory detail is now set when i click on my inventory detail over here you will now notice there's all my serial numbers and that's how you import serial numbers if you found this useful please like and subscribe and i promise not to disappoint with more netsuite content thank you